All right, we did it. We have visual contact. I thought about it. Uh, that would be good. Uh, yeah, actually, that's fine. Overwhelming Axis is amazing. Kind of balling, that's alright. Dwarven Challenge. Now. Dwarven Haste. That's a good double attack is great. The only downside to double attack is everyone become when you do it. Or who That character will be incredibly slowed down because of it. For a for a good couple of turns. Or, I would say they probably do like, they would probably do about three turns normally. By the point that they do a, their th a third turn after, or their first turn after a double attack, or um, frenzy, depending on. So double attack lets you do any ability you want basically while the other while frenzy is only spirit powers and abilities and this is where the last piece is so we're just gonna step in here get that and then we're gonna run back alright alright I feel like Idriel might actually be faster oh yeah Oh yeah, we are definitely moving faster, so let's go ahead and get that armor for Hadhod, and then we can do that. Um, is it this one? No, it's the other one. I'm sorry, I get so twisted around in Moria, because it looks like he... It looks like you should be able to, like, jump, or you could continue either path from there, but you can't. So we, we got everything we need for Hadhod's armor. I don't think we'll be coming back to this one specifically anymore. But yeah, look at how fast we are. Characters are definitely different speeds. We have found it at last. We were already here, though. What is this? Never before have I seen such honor. This is yours now. In memory of your people. I, in memory of them all. Dwarven Velvet Harp. Okay, so it is the armor I was thinking of. I just thought it was one or the other. I didn't think it was both. So this Moria purple here is ne basically never going to be taken off. I think the helmet... Oh no, it's... The helmet's not here yet. Maybe that is East... Maybe that's East Moria I'm thinking of, where we get the dragon helm. Or maybe that's something I've already missed, I don't know. But Hadhod eventually gets a full, a full helmet that covers his face, and it is... You never take it off, basically. You're lucky if you get to take it off by the end of the game. If you found... Actually, no, I think you do find a helmet by the end of the game. But still, think about that. Hadhod will be carrying a helmet for almost... Probably 80% of the game. Or what's left, at least. Give or take, depending on how well I do, I suppose. Alright, so with that out of the way, I can switch back to Hadhod. I'd rather... Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I'd rather have Hot Hod get some levels right now. Balrog pit over. Overlook. Yeah. It's not going to be a fun time. Do 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 I just want Hat Hog to get some DC. I just want Hat Hog to finish getting his super cool gun moves. So it is so helpful later on. So like I said, a lot less enemies are mean to being slowed down than they are being stunned or sleep. It's weird. Actually by the point you should normally have stunning strike I'm pretty sure almost every every enemy would, would be immune to it by then. Um just more spirit. Always more spirit in my opinion. Because it's l it, whatever you need, or because you're not limited to by web gear requirements. It's whatever works for a character works. Well, sadly, I can't like give Barathor a super cool guy bow, but hey, that's video games for you. They don't want you to be too. They don't want it to be too broken, but they don't want you to be broken either. They don't want you to be too weak and or too brokenly powerful, I should say. This is... I always think you can climb up that ladder for some reason. You never climb up a ladder, but I always think you do for some reason. Maybe it's because I've played a lot of, like, um... Video. Oh, this is a cool one. Oh, this isn't a feature we do a whole lot, either. Wait, I see something. What do you say to this, Dwarf? That would be a key to a very important item. Mm. Something kept in a throne room. Perhaps a book of secrets. Can you read us there? Time is running out! I think we have found more than we bargained for. It is the Balrog of Mordor. We must master our fear. Follow that creature. It is our only way out. It is no use. The path is destroyed. We must fall back and find another way. Out. Yeah. But here's one of the coolest fights in the game. But it's not very. You don't do this very often. I call this the circuit. I I have two names for it. I call it the circular fight and the surround fight, depending on my mood. Let's get the shield of justice up. If you could just like nuke one of yours, at least until oh my god, 26,000. Holy shit! Yeah, I'll, I'll just keep showing the fight off, 